Most high school athletes dream of playing at the next level. Some even hope to do so locally. However, NAU football has only recruited five Flagstaff kids in the last decade, the latest of which being Coconino's Ty Fur. I met up with Ty and his friends and family to talk about how his dreams of becoming a lumberjack became a reality. For NAU freshman defensive back and Flagstaff native Ty Fur, putting on the blue and gold uniform was more than a goal. It was a dream. But Ty's dream didn't begin with a helmet and shoulder pads. Instead, it started with a hat and glove on the baseball diamond. I, oh, I love the game. I missed it too. Uh, especially playing with my brother and everything. That's, that was uh, a big, big thing in my life. And uh, I mean, it was baseball was amazing for me. It gave me a lot of opportunities uh, playing for the USA baseball team. Her success is mainly due to his hard work ethic something he learned from his big brother, Todd. He always hung out with my type of friends and that's kind of what brought him into learning stuff at an earlier age and was able to work a lot harder at stuff because he was working with older kids. Ty's parents say hard work isn't something he saves just for the field. He puts everything he's got into everything he does. He doesn't do anything easily, right? No. I mean it. <laughs> very, very passionate about everything he does. He puts, he puts 100% in everything he does. Ty had big shoes to fill arriving at Coconino. His older brother Todd's vocal leadership left behind big expectations. Expectations that Ty was motivated to fulfill. My brother as a senior and a leader of the baseball team, and he, he was the main guy. Like every time I come into the weight room, it was always my uh, uh, old uh, varsity baseball coach, are you going to be a better leader than Todd? Are you going to lift more than Todd? So it was always a good, uh, not really competition, but something I wanted to excel in. And excellence is what he accomplished. He is credited by his coaches in changing the Coconino football program, giving them the best year the Panthers had seen in a long time. And even after Ty left, thanks to the attitude he left behind, the Panthers saw their first playoff run since 2005. You know, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, he left a legacy of success, hard work. I mean, they, they followed Ty. With graduation drawing near, choosing between his two loves of football and baseball was not an easy thing to do. But the answer became clear during the annual rivalry game between Flagstaff and Coconino High. Uh, it was really mostly my junior year. Um, especially with our flag high Coco football game, the way it ended, the last four seconds kind of thing. Here's the snap, last play of the game for sure. Typher tries to get in, he's, he's put by Christopher and he's, he's in. in. Typher, that's oh the... Oh my goodness. Typher gets in on the back push by Zach Christopher. That was probably the big deciding moment was just knowing that going to the games, putting on the uniform, just having that feeling of the game. Ty left a legacy behind and went from playing here with all his friends to here, playing for his dream school. Coming in with like playing the flag high game, it was always like, oh, we get to play in the dome this year and all of that. But now it's my home now. It's really, it's really cool coming into the dome every year and or every day and just putting that grind in it. Playing at the division one level is always a big change, but that isn't the only change Ty made during the off season as he switched positions from quarterback to defensive back. Ty says his experience under center gives him a leg up at his new spot. The quarterback side of it, knowing what defenses do, but also what quarterbacks think when they're dropping back for a pass or something like that. So especially having that experience in high school where it was really helping me with this next level of football. Great kid, he comes out here and works hard. Um, we coach him hard, we love him hard, but he comes out here and embraces the coaching and um, tries his best to do everything we ask him to do. While time may have changed positions on the field, one thing that never changed was the support from his friends and family. It's because of that support that he brings to the game something that reminds him of everyone who got him to where he is now. Those cleats, I mean, it, it's all happened with my last senior year. Uh, just that brotherhood and uh, having fun with football and everyday grind. And uh, that's why I brought him and that's why I wore him the first game that I went in. It's, it's they got me here. My coaches, teachers, everybody, baseball, and everybody, they got me here, so. It's been a long journey with many wins and losses, 
choosing one love over the other, and following his dreams. But Typher has always kept his eye on the ball. To see where he was, to see where he is now, and I'm just proud. And it's awesome to support him. Um, it's awesome to see my family, see my mom and dad cry as he dresses up the first time. Like, it's just, it's awesome to see, and it's something I'm always going to remember. Yeah! Ashley Myshock, and AZ Today.